Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networkings. In this video, we are going to see OSPF. So what we are going to cover in this video is the basic of OSPF, how to configure the OSPF in the Cisco Packet Tracer, and we can configure the OSPF in the two methods. So we will see in the detailed way in the live demo. Let's get started. OSPF stands for Open SATA Stuff Path First. In OSPF generally, we will use in the large scale of enterprise networks and the internet end. And this is the IGP protocol in that this is the link state protocol. This protocol using the distress tortoise to path faster algorithms. OSPF will have port number is 89 and the administrative value is 1110. In multicast IP address two types, one is 224.0.0.5, another one is 224.0.0.6. So 224.0.0.5 is generally using in the OSPF to exchange the neighbor information and the another one is for using the DRBDR exchanging the information. And we have two type of OSPF, OSPF version 2 and version 3. So version 1 generally we are using for the IPv4 and version 3 we will use for the IPv6 so we will i will explain step by step configuration i will just quickly explain the demo of this simulation i have pre configured the ip address for this time saving i will quickly explain so this is the range which is 192.168.1.1/24 so subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and we are using area 0 for the all the three networks so just created a three topology or we can say three setups so let's quickly configure the here okay so going to the cli enable config t router ospf process id this process id we need to keep for the all the routers after that network we need to introduce the connected network so 192.168.3.0 192.168.3.0 is the range then subnet mask actually 255.255.255.0 here we have to use wildcard mask in OSPF so I'm going to use 0 0.0.0.255 then area is 0 okay then same way I need to create the range for the 20.0 here see this ip address is connected 20 right so i need to create 20.0 area 0 done okay now this is router 2 configuration is done now this router cli enable config t router ospf 1 network 192.168 dot 20 dot 0 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 255 area 0 okay so how how i made it 192 is here right this is done the next to other end is 10 dot 2 right so what i have to do so i have to configure 10 dot 2 as well okay so here 192 10 okay and we have to assign this range as well 192 2.0 as well 192 2.0 okay done so OSPF is see neighbor is forming with this router to this router so now router this router CLI okay enable config terminal so this interface i'm going to configure in the different way so so far we have configured in the global configuration router ospf then we have given right so here this router i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to call into the interface level so ospf can be configured in the three ways so one is global configuration another one is the interface level so here for for different approach so i'm just going to configure it in the interface level so let's see what is the interface giga ethanol 0 slash 0 slash 1 okay so interface giga ethanol 0 slash 0 slash 1 and then ip ospf then process id is 1 then area is 0 done then it's the same way coming out from the interface then interface there is one more interface is there right so what is that interface let's see quickly
0 slash 0 slash 0 okay interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 slash 0 same configuration IP OSPF 1 area 0 hit enter come exit come exit show IP OSPF neighbor to see the neighborship table okay so the neighborship start establishing so we will just quickly try to ping the device to device so I'm just going to ping ping 192.168.1.11 so I'm just trying to ping the IP address from this PC to this PC then we will try to ping the area to area i mean network to network okay so this is able to ping so what i'm going to do from this pc2 i'm going to ping 192.168.3.10 ping 192.168.3.10 okay so first packet will get failed then another we will get the replay we will wait and see yes i mean the network is get form okay so let's try to i ping the ip address for 3.1 so same way we will wait for this first packet will get failed then we will get the ip addresses this the replace it's getting all right so so far i have created the ospf using three different networks let's say this is this network we have configured in the global configuration same way this is also configured in the global configuration but this network we have configured into the interface level but if you have noticed interface level we no need to give the network IP, network range because let's say here if you see here we have we just we are enabling the ospf that we are creating we are advertising the own network and we are mentioning the area zero but if you see this router we are just going to the interface and we are giving the we are establishing the osp we are not giving the network range reason this interface already have configured the range right so that will be taken so let me take it let me just quickly copy and paste you copy show ip interface if you see here 192.168.1.1 right so it will be taken care let me ip show ip route if you see here so we have configured 192.168.1.1 if you type show ip route we will get that ip address 1.1 it is it is connected as l actually here c means connected l means locally connected o means representing the ospf okay so if you have any doubt regarding this one please feel free to write the comments in the comment box also please like and subscribe to our channel we will meet you in the next video bye